today I'm in the 2017 Ford F-350 Super Duty. It is a 6.7 liter power stroke diesel and it is the platinum, the highest trim level that Ford offers for the Super Duties. This is an $80,000 truck. So what we're gonna do today is take a look at what you actually get for your $80,000. In today's market, it's actually not uncommon to pay over $100,000 for a vehicle. Usually it's a luxury SUV or sedan, most likely German, or some kind of super sports car. So $80,000, if you compare to what's out there might not sound like a whole lot, but for the average man, $80,000 is buying a house. For 2017, we got an all new Ford Super Duty F-Series. Completely redesigned, Ford now also has the military strength aluminum body and bed, making this truck 350 pounds lighter than its predecessor. Now Ford boasts a lot of best-in-class features for the F-Series. Best-in-class conventional towing, best-in-class fifth wheel and gooseneck towing, best-in-class payload as well. Now to help it achieve those numbers, in this truck we're in today, it has the 6.7 liter power stroke diesel pushing out 440 horsepower and a whopping 925 pound-feet of torque. I mean, this thing has so much torque, it feels like you can rip a house off its foundation. It is so powerful. Now, those 925 pound-feet of torque are also best in class. Now, it being a platinum, meaning it's the top-of-the-line trim, you get a whole lot of nice features. The seat that I'm sitting in is obviously fully leather. You have the nice platinum badging in the seat. We have a leather wrapped steering wheel and tons of uh, technical features that you haven't really been able to get in a Super Duty truck from Ford before. We now have lane keeping system massaging seats we have a heated steering wheel which gets very very hot by the way I have it on right now it's about 36 degrees outside in Pittsburgh today so it's very nice obviously we have heated cooled seats for the summertime navigation and it does not only have a backup camera and a front-facing camera it has seven different cameras seven You can now keep an eye on what's in the bed of your truck. Also have several different angles for towing. It's just absolutely amazing the technology that this truck has. Now this one that I'm sitting in here today is a crew cab or super crew full four door it has the eight foot bed it is the 176 inch wheelbase it is a single rear wheel also available obviously with the dual rear wheel depending on how much you need to tow and also how much you need to haul it is a very quiet ride for being a full-size truck don't know exactly how much justice this mic is going to do uh, for you guys, but just driving in this truck, uh, the main difference I'm hearing right now, comparing it to my F-150, is I'm, I'm hearing a bit of that diesel engine, but that's pretty much it. Very quiet ride, very soft ride as well. Extremely comfortable. For 2017, the interior of the Super Duty resembles the interior of the F-150. 
for the previous generation Super Duty versus F-150, there was a big difference in the interior. Now when you jump in here, um, it looks very, very similar to, let's say an F-150 Platinum in this case. Steering wheel is the same. The instrument cluster is the same. We now have an eight inch productivity screen between the uh, speedometer and the tachometer, just like in the F-150. Same infotainment system, which is SYNC 3, excellent system as well. And then just the outlay of the center stack below the touchscreen, same buttons and everything. So sitting inside the F-350, uh, whether it's a Platinum, King Ranch, Lariat, XLT, or the base trim XL, the feeling is now a lot more like an F-150. So if we take a look at the exterior of the truck, now this being a Platinum, it has full LED quad beam headlights and LED daytime running lights. Now for the rear of the truck, we have full LED tail lamps as well, power deploying running boards, Plenty of room for rear passengers. I'm six foot two. And there's tons of leg room. I have enough headroom as well, although that could be improved in my opinion. And also new for 2017, you can get the dual panel moonroof. Power folding mirrors. We have memory settings for three different drivers. Now the F-350 I'm sitting in here today is rated to tow 18,000 pounds, conventional towing. Now properly equipped, that number goes up to 21,000 pounds, which is class leading. This thing, oh wow. This thing just has so much torque. It's got so much power and it handles well on the road. It feels so different from the previous generation Super Duty. Now also this being a Platinum, obviously it feels so much nicer to sit in here. We've got plenty of storage space and it, it really feels like a luxury truck. Now if you're traveling across the country and you're towing your camper, boat, trailer, whatever it is, you will be doing it in style and you will be doing it very comfortably. I'm very, very impressed that a full-size truck like this can be this comfortable. Please say a command. Frank Sinatra. Tuning to Frank Sinatra. I have to turn that down before the copyright police bust me, but everything is completely voice activated. The radio, Sirius XM, climate, make a phone call. It is just so easy to be in this truck. Now for these long highway drives that you might be taking in your new F-350 Platinum, we also now have adaptive cruise control now obviously with all this technology uh, I have a love-hate relationship with it I mean I, I love it um, but the, the way that the automotive industry is sort of going nowadays is that more and more cars come into the market now mainly in the luxury segment is going towards autonomous driving Tesla has it Mercedes has it to a certain extent and I don't really know what I think of that. I mean, I still love the feeling of driving uh, the vehicle myself. Although I don't mind technical features like adaptive cruise control, um, especially for long drives. But the vehicle driving itself, I don't know if I really trust that, but that's a completely different topic and a different video in itself. Just my opinion. What do you think? 
So before we end today's review, we'll recap and go over what it is you actually get in an $80,000 Ford pickup truck. You get the 440 horsepower and 925 pound feet strong engine. That is the 6.7 liter power stroke diesel. This truck is completely jam packed with all kinds of technology and I'll try to remember it all. Um, it has the power deploying running boards. It has massaging seats for these long drives. It has the adaptive cruise control like we just mentioned. You have heated cooled seats heated steering wheel, navigation, uh, Sony stereo system, dual panel moonroof, full leather interior. You're able to tow up to 21,000 pounds and you're able to haul up to 7,600 pounds. All class leading features in the new Super Duties. On top of that, you have seven cameras, 360 camera, regular backup camera, you have a front camera, you have cameras that now keep an eye out on what you have in your bed. You have a camera now that keeps an eye on what you're towing behind the truck. So for these $80,000 that you have to lay out, obviously you won't completely pay $80,000. There's always some incentives. You get a whole lot, especially if you're a truck person. If your choice of vehicle is to buy a truck over, let's say, an SUV or a car, but you don't really have to tow uh, a lot of things, maybe just go and buy stuff here and there and you throw it in the bed, kind of like me. I don't really have to tow anything. My wife and I don't have a boat. Uh, we don't have a trailer or anything like that, but we still love to have a truck. Now, for the people that has to tow as well, maybe you have a boat or a trailer or a camper or something like that, and maybe you have to haul up to five, six, seven thousand pounds of stuff. You actually have a luxury vehicle that has a lot of the amenities that let's say a Mercedes would have or any German car. Plus that you can tear a whole house down with the power that this truck has. In my opinion, $80,000 is a bargain. Now on this short little drive that I've been taking during this review, I'm averaging 14 miles per gallon. Now for a truck of this size that weighs the same as three full-size sedans, that's not bad. And if you choose to maybe go with a mid-range trim and you're paying around 50,000, you don't care about all the luxury amenities, what I'm trying to say is you get a whole lot for the money that you spend. And I don't want to sit and repeat myself, but this truck is so comfortable to drive. I mean, it is just so nice. Plus you have the ability to tow and haul and go pretty much anywhere you need. I mean, it's four wheel drive, obviously. And if you're into it, you would probably take a lot of these luxury cars that cost the same in a green light sprint. So let me know what you guys think of the 2017 Ford Super Duty F350 Power Stroke Diesel. Is it worth the money, in your opinion? I say yes. If you want a full luxury truck, plus it being able to do everything that a full size truck needs to do, $80,000 is a bargain.